Mr. Peterson, Ms. Campbell brought in her car for you to fix and put in a new transmission. You quoted her a price, which was? $700. And she brought in the car when? October 17. And she picked up the car when? November 17. And she got a little bit down the road, and what she was supposed to do is put in a different transmission, not a new one, a rebuilt transmission. Yes, ma'am. This 2002 car, $700, she paid you. She drove the car down a block, or five minutes down the road, couldn't move the car. She took it to a new mechanic. I assume that this is the new mechanic. This is an expert witness. Just a second, is this the new mechanic? Um, This is the mechanic. He he did not install the transmission, but he owns the transmission shop and is able to vouch for all the work that was done. Just a second. He's an expert witness. Did you, Ms. Campbell, you don't determine if he's an expert witness. I tell you if he's an expert witness. Do you understand? That's what the court does. You don't bring somebody and say they're an expert witness. Is this the person who either fixed the car or owns the shop that fixed the car? No, ma'am. Well, why didn't you bring that person? Because he evaluated my car. No, just what's the reason? Uh, They did not want to come out here today, the owners of the transmission shop that repaired the shop. In what jurisdiction do you live? Uh, Wayne County, North Carolina. I tried numerous times to get in touch with them without success. Do you have a bill from them? I do. I'd like to see the bill. So she picked up the car on the 7th of November. Let's see when she brought the car into its second place. ABS line, transmission, steering mount, power steering, stop leak. Anyway, they charged you $1,921. And 50 cents, yes, ma'am. So I have the following questions to ask you, sir. The transmission that you put in her car. Yes, ma'am. Did you have to do any other work on the car, cutting it, reshaping any part of the underneath car to have that transmission fit? No, ma'am. So you didn't cut anything on the bottom or realign anything on the underneath of the car. The transmission just fit right in. Yes. Your Honor, I disagree with that. Just a sec. Do you have photographs of the underneath of the car? Yes, Yes, ma'am. May I take a look at them? Now, sir, would you stand up? Tell me your name. I'm Lloyd Holt, ma'am. Mr. Holt, what do you do for a living? I own a transmission business. Do you know him? No, ma'am. How long have you owned that business? Uh, I've been partners with my daddy, and I own it myself now about um, 22 years. Can you take a look? She gave me a whole bunch of pictures, but I don't know what they mean. Yes, ma'am. What kind of transmission did you put in the car, Mr. Peterson? An automatic transaxle. Do you know that transmission, sir? Yes, ma'am. Does that fit this car? There's two, three years of work, 2001, two or three. And what I looked at and checked out, her notes and everything else, is he put the wrong gear model transmission in it. It would not work properly. And if also, if he had to do any modifications, which is in pictures there, cutting anything, changing anything, it was not the right transmission. It should have bolted in there, no modifications done whatsoever. It should have bolted up and worked properly. I don't know what this is. Could you tell me? There's your air, the transmission mount, which you can see fresh cut marks on the top of it, which should have never been cut. So it had to be cut? To get fit, to fit in there. Yes, ma'am. Is this where it was yeah, cut? Yes, ma'am. That was there. That's the... I put the second transmission in that. The transmission had been replaced before she brought it to me. How long before? I have no idea. How long before? Ma'am, as far as I know, it had never been replaced. When no, did you I, buy the car? February 2017, so a year. I've owned it a year. How much did you pay for the car? Uh, 2400 and it ran perfectly. Well, it didn't run perfectly because nine months later well, it needed a new transmission. true. But, and that doesn't happen overnight. Your Honor, but it, it worked properly until October. So but from some, eight months, so it worked eight properly. Months, eight months, it worked fine. Yes. What you're telling me is sometime before she bought it, somebody else had put in another transmission. Obviously a used one. Oh, well, just to... a second. Okay. But he says the transmission that you put in the car was wrong. And that's why it didn't run. And that's why she had to take it to another shop the same day. It was taken out of a 2002 Ford Taurus. Hers is a Mercury Sable, which is she basically gets her money the same back. car. Did you pay him $700? I paid him a total of 900 in the end. And Why? I picked, um, initially he quoted me as 700 and then he raised, said that he needed $200 down just to start the job. Then he said that the job would be an additional $700. So um, you paid him a total of $900? Correct. Is that and correct? I have a receipt yes, here. $900, judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Thank you.